In this presentation, we're going to be talking about the Equities Guide. The Equities Guide is designed to give you content information around what's happening on different global markets. There's two ways that we can actually pull up the, uh, the Equities Guide. One is by using the Helios, going to My Apps, and looking for the Equities Guide. Another way is to actually search in the search and command box and type in Equities, and it will bring up the Equities Guide in here. So let's bring up the Equities Guide and give you an overview of what it's designed to do. The Equities Guide is actually designed to break down into five different categories of overall information. One is indices, index futures, volatility indices, TR indices, and stocks. So what each of the first four are designed to do is give you an overview of each of those categories. So if we go to indices, this is going to give us a broad view of the different world indices. So you can see here we have the Americas, which covers US, Canada, Mexico, uh, Brazil. Then we get into Europe, uh, Asia, and have a broad view of what the global markets are doing. Now we can change any of these things. Right now we have the benchmark top indices uh, globally. Now if I just want to focus in on something specific, say like the Americas, and look at today's report, we can just update the view. And then this will give me an updated, just the Americas, a little bit more broad, so I can see most of the American indices here. Then it takes me down and lets me get into a little bit more under the indices category of mains and sectors. Well, what are the top sectors doing uh, as part of that? So here we have the top indices, top futures, and then the top sector indices, so I can see what the sectors uh, in the top of the market are doing. As we go down, we then get into index futures. So index futures are going to be those uh, futures that mirror the indices. So if I'm looking at here, I have uh, DJI, which the symbol would be the DJ little v1, which is a, an index future. So it mirrors the index, and I can see what's happening with the actual uh, future itself here. Again, with the uh, Metastock Zenith, again, you can click into any of these fields to get more information. Up here, this is great because a lot of people ask to look at the volatility indices. So things like the VIX um, are available in here. And what this does, it gives you all the different uh, global volatility indices here. So we can see these. So here we have the VIX uh, as the top one. That's usually the top volatility index that people look at. And then we have the three-month VIX here, which is uh, the, v, the VXV. And then we go down, we have the NASDAQ volatility, the VXN, the Russell 2000, the RVX. And it goes down and it gives us all the values for these, uh, these indices. And over here, it will give us the underlying index. So we have the, uh, the S&P 500. Uh, here we have VIX as the underlying for the binary options, uh, the NASDAQ, the Russell 2000, and so forth and so on. So this is a great place to come in here, look at those volatility indices. The TR indices are the Thomson Reuters uh, indices. So uh, Thomson Reuters actually has their own indexes that they compile uh, to let you look at the markets. And that's where you can access these, look at them in table view or chart view, and get an overview of the markets using Thomson Reuters uh, calculated indices. So those, uh, again, here you can break them out by country, you can break them out by sector. Now the stock section is actually one of the most interesting because what it lets you do is it lets you get into um, advancing and declining issues, new highs, new lows of those markets. So right here at the top, first thing you're going to do is choose what country you want to look at. So right now we're looking at the United States. You can change it to Canada, France, Germany. Uh, scroll down wherever you are in the world, pretty much you're going to have access to one of these different uh, advancing and declining issues pages. So here what we're seeing is we're seeing the United States exchanges total issues. So this is all U.S. markets lumped into one here. So uh, advancing issues, uh, 33,533 today, declining 15,722, unchanged 3285. And then you can see those breaking out, broken out Excuse me, by the different clearing uh, markets that you see here. So we have FINRA, we have BATS, we have uh, NASDAQ. So you can see how they're broken out and which of the different uh, clearing houses that they're going through. Now, if you want to get into a specific market, this is where you get into a specific market. So here I could say, right now we're looking at the NYSE composite. I can change this to the NASDAQ composite. It will give me that market overview. So here I have advancing and declining issues for this market, total 
new highs, new lows, and again, my graphical representation here. So if you're looking for that broad market information about what a market's doing today, this is going to be the page that you're going to come to. Okay, then down here, what it does, it gives us uh, the most actives by volume, percent gainers and losers from that market. So I have a, a good overview of what's uh, going on in that market. And here we can change it, obviously, to net gainers if we want to, or net losers instead of percentage. And then over here, we have a few more things that we can go through. So now this is all broken down. Let's actually do this uh, for, let's say, Canada. So you'll see that same type of overview here. So total market advancing and declining issues, uh, which one they're broken out here, Toronto, TSX Venture. And then we can look at uh, the different markets here, the alpha trading or the TSX Venture, the pure trading. So if I click on that and update it, it will give me that market here, uh, but still see the broad market overview up here. So now let's go back to the United States here. And there's some other tabs of information that are available to us as part of this as well. One, we have our overview, is which what we're looking at now. But we also have news, which is going to give us the top market news uh, for the equity market for that region. So again, if I were to go to Canada or France or whatever it may be, uh, we're going to have that here and over here. Here we have market data and tools that are available to us. So now. Some of these bits of information are only available if you're paying the real-time exchange uh, because they are ranked in real time. So let's say if I wanted to see the top 10 equity option puts and click on that, I can get that information, but that's only available if you're paying the real-time exchange for the OPRA because this is, this is a data that's disseminated real time to you. So let's go ahead and close that out. Uh, we can also come in here and look at a market overview of American indices, Dow Jones sector indices, uh, get a market report, get the gainers and losers. Uh, let's just click on uh, these types of information here, and you can see the Dow Jones different indexes. Uh, so you can see the oil and gas index, financials, healthcare, et cetera. Now, one thing that we get a lot of requests for is how do I find things like upcoming earnings reports and um, economic events, things like that. So if you come to this e events tab, you'll see economic events and you'll see corporate events. So now corporate events here is great because what you're able to do is look at this information in the way you, you want to rank it. So let's say I only want um, things in the next seven days. What's coming up the next seven days? I only want uh, earnings and dividends and splits. Those are the only things I want to see. I can also do conference calls, general um, content type. We can do transcripts, brief media. We'll just leave that as all. And let's click update view. So now what this is going to do me is do for me is just show me coming up here uh, within the next seven days what are actually my uh, earnings reports that are coming out. Now, if I want to see this in a little bit more of a calendar type view, I can up, come up here to calendar, click this, and I'll see a calendar view of those earnings reports for the day. So let's, uh, let's look at it by the month here, and it will show me broken out in a month category for the day. So first, second, fifth, sixth. So you can see these, uh, this calendar report broken out. So if you want to see it broken out day by day, this is the place to come in and do it. So I hope you found this uh, overview of the equity, equity guide useful. And uh, if you have questions, as always, feel free to contact us here at Metastock. Thank you.